What's up, party people? Today, I have a guide for you on how to obtain the Deca Line Ring in Decron. Uh, this is a extremely useful PVE ring. Um, I constantly get people asking me about how to increase your, uh, you know, your monster damage tolerance or your PVE resistance, and this is a nice ring that's pretty easy to farm uh, that will give you a nice boost to your resistances, which is uh, an issue I see a lot of people having when it comes to surviving in dungeons. So yeah. Uh, make sure to like the video it's helpful subscribe hit the bell icon if you want to see any more content and uh yeah let's get this party started okay so the uh first question is where do you i uh or where do i or where do you obtain your deck of line ring so when you make a new character or if you've already made a character and haven't done this yet you're going to be coming to our deca and in our deca you're going to want to head to kind of the top right corner of the town right here and you're going to be looking for npc aria so you're just going to run up to NPC Aria here, really simple. Um, there's a little uh, option here that says Event Deca Line Ring Upgrade. So you're going to click on that, and then you're going to say Receive Deca Line Ring. So, and then uh, it's just going to talk to you about like some of the options and stuff like that. So you're just going to say, I will receive the Deca Line Ring. So this will then appear in your inventory, and even at level one, it already gives you 3% monster damage tolerance, which is... Uh, you know, not terrible, especially if you don't have any accessories to start with. Now, how do you upgrade this ring? So to upgrade this ring, you also go to Aria, and you're going to go to Reinforcement, I'd like to process an item. Once you're in this window right here, you're going to go to Accessory, and then Deco Line Ring. Now, the items that are required for updating the Deco Line Ring are the original Deco Line Ring, and then various amounts of Seed of Dreams. So the first upgrade, as you can see here, you go from 3% uh, to 5% plus some guard. That is going to cost you 300 Seed of Dreams. The uh, following upgrade is 400, and that is the uh, upgrade you'll be seeing there. The complete line will then be uh, 700, and I I'm just going through the stats so you guys know what they are. Um, and then you've got the Fable Deco Line Ring, which will be another 1,000. Um, and this will get you to your ultimate Deca Line Ring. Now, this is where I recommend most of you stop when it comes to your upgrading process. The reason, because the final upgrade requires an item called Cacao, and this is a D-Shop item. This is not something you can farm in-game. Um, it's kind of frustrating and kind of stupid, in my opinion. So I think the ultimate Deca Line Ring is totally fine, and you really don't need the... Um, uh, the transcendal, transcendial, I'm trying to pronounce that, uh, Decaline Ring, it, it only gives an extra like 3% monster damage challenge, teeny bit more crit rate and crit damage, um, and you don't have to spend any money. Now, uh, we'll talk about Cacao in a second, but a big thing a lot of you are going to be asking me is where do I get Seed of Dreams? Now, Seed of Dreams are actually extremely easy to, f or extremely easy to farm if you know what you're doing. Now, a lot of you will say, hey, you know, Seed of Dreams have a really low drop rate. You know, I go and I farm and it takes me forever to get them. How in the world am I going to get the, you know, 2,000 or whatever Seed of Dreams that's required to upgrade my deck to Lion Ring? Well, there is another option over here uh, that you guys really should know about, and that is NPC Wingo. Now, at NPC Wingo, uh, there is an option here called Collect Matera for Seed of Dreams. And here you can exchange your ghosts, angers, or insanities for seeds at these rates. So while you're farming in game, you're going to get seeds, but you're also going to be getting ghosts or ghost fragments, anger fragments, and insanity fragments. And you should take those fragments and you're going to, um, once again, you're going to be going to NPC Aria and you're going to come to Aria and you're going to go to the uh, first option again, and you're going to go to Material Exchange. And here you'll be able to exchange your Ghost Fragments for Ghosts, Anger Fragments for Angers, and Insanity Fragments for Insanities at, you know, a, a whatever rate. You can then go back to Wingo, like I showed you, and you can exchange those for Seeds too. If you do this, it's going to go a lot faster. And what's really nice is while the um, ring is not tradable and the final form of these exchange items are not tradable, the fragments are tradable. So what you can do is you can make a couple alt accounts. Uh, you can use the free holy water and you can use those to farm yourself some, um, you know, some uh, angers, spirit pieces and insanities. Uh, now you'll, you'll note that right now, I, I don't believe it gives you a pet for free right off the bat. So what you can do to get a pet really simple is you can go to NPC Jack, new Seed of Dream exchange, 
you go to premium and then normal pet egg for a hundred and uh 150 seeds so that's um that that's a really easy way to get a pet and then it'll make it easy to farm those other items so doing that you will be able to get the seeds you need for the deck line ring in no time at all it goes it goes pretty quick trust me if you have questions about that you can let me know now if you are interested in doing the final upgrade like i said it's uh it's a cacao requirement so you need 500 cacao can't farm it in game sometimes they get out for events but they haven't in a long time but what you can do is you can go to the D shop if you really want to. I uh, I am not a D shop advocate at all. Um, I I just don't feel like they deserve your money. Uh, but I can't stop you from wanting to do something if you want. Um, but basically, you go to item premium and you can get these cacao 100 exchange boxes. It'll be about 2,500 DKC, which equates to approximately $25 um, for that final upgrade. Once again. I really do not think it's worth it, and I think the ultimate deck, the ultimate deck line ring, is all you really need. Anyway, guys, this is just one ring in the game that will help you improve your monster damage tolerance, and it also gives you a little bit of critical damage as well. So, uh, really good for new players, or if you're a uh, older player and maybe you're struggling with your monster damage tolerance and you haven't picked up this ring uh, yet, this is a this is a really good place uh, to do that. Anyway, quick quick guide today guys but um once again this is just somewhere i wanted to be able to send people when they're asking me how to improve their monster damage tolerance um and i'll be going over a lot more items in the future and how to do that as well but the deck align ring is kind of the base one that uh, i feel like everyone should know about anyway any questions or suggestions guys as always you can leave them in the comments um and until next time take care